Hello, my name is Tom Gray, and I am the director of the Fire Safety Practice Course. And I'm here to give you a little bit of an overview of the course and hopefully encourage you to apply. So the postgraduate course in fire safety practice is part of the Department of Civil, Structural and Environmental Engineering. This is a one year postgraduate course and it's designed to enable engineers, architects, fire prevention officers and other suitably qualified built environment professionals to acquire a sound knowledge and understanding of fire in buildings and then the requirements and options available for the design of buildings against fire. The course is supported by the Chief Fire Officers Association, recognised by the Institution of Fire Engineers for membership of the IFE and approved by Engineers Ireland for 20 hours of continuing professional development out of their annual requirement of, of 35 hours for chartered membership. The course lecturers include acknowledged experts in design against fire from engineering consultancies, architectural practices, contractors, government departments and so on. We'll talk a little bit more about them because they're really critical, critical to this course. Let's just think about fire safety practice and the design of, of, of buildings and, and the fire protection of buildings in, the, in our current context or in our current world. Fire safety practice has impacts across all aspects of the built environment. And over the last couple of years, a number of trends or things have really come to the fore. Sadly, we've seen the tragedy in, in Grenfell. And this has really demonstrated the need to carefully consider building materials and egress in, in all building types, but probably you're really critical in, in, in higher, your higher or taller residential buildings. COVID-19 has shown us these impacts that a virus like that can have on the built environment. So we're seeing the rethinking of, of towns and cities. Are we gonna have more people working from home? Are we gonna see the conversion of office blocks um, into possibly residential or other uses? So COVID-19 is really forcing us to rethink our built environment and will have long lasting impacts, which will of course have impacts for fire safety and fire design. Climate change, we'll see climate great or climate chaos, the possibility of natural disasters and other climate impacts that again have a direct and indirect impact on the built environment and in turn fire design and fire safety practice. Our aging population means that we're going to have a larger percentage of our of our global population who are older people and who are, as they say, old, old, old. And in other words, you know, people in their in their 80s and 90s and even in into their, you know, above 100 years of age. People, older people and some older people, you know, may need additional protection in terms of the built environment um, and in our buildings. So we may have more vulnerable building users. And we need to think really carefully about uh, emergency design, fire, fire egress, and so on. We're also going to have larger numbers of people living in longer long-term residential care or, or possibly in supported housing or housing for older people. And again, that is going to need careful thinking around fire and fire safety design. Okay, so I mentioned um, the lectures and the lecturers delivered by, by leading professionals. And these are people from practitioners to academics. So we're talking about people from fire safety engineering, structural engineering, local government fire officers. Uh, we have a fire advisor from the Department of Housing and Local Government, architects, the legal profession are represented, electrical engineers, people from the Health and Safety Authority, fire safety consultants, universal access experts, and of course, experts in, in fire investigation. So now just to talk a little bit about the course structure. It's a postgraduate course consists of, of two thought modules and one coursework. Um, the entire course is worth 45 ECTS, which is the European Credit Transfer and Accumulation System. They're the kind of academic credits you get for, for doing this course. The two thought modules um, are each worth 15 ECTS and they're spread over the two lecture terms. And the one course module, this is also worth 15 ECTS. And it consists of a project on protecting structures against fire and another project on demonstrating compliance with the building regulations. We'll talk a little bit about more 
um, in the, that in a moment when we discuss the modules and the syllabus. Lectures are held on Friday evenings and Saturday mornings, typically from October to April, with examinations in May. Students should, should note that the Trinity academic year is made up of two 12-week semesters, in the first being the Michaelmas uh, term and the second term being Hillary. So to talk a little bit about the, the course modules and the syllabus. So module one, that's made of fire safety engineering, and that has a number of components. A, looks at the fundamentals of fire science and fire, fire engineering. So obviously we have recovering fire science, but also structural fire engineering and so on. B is looking at fire safety um, engineering in terms of fire spread between buildings, uh, fire resistance of structural elements and fire and evacuation modeling. And then C looks at fire protection systems, fire looking at fire detection alarms, emergency lighting, sprinkler systems and so on. The second module looks at fire safety legislation and regulations um, and deals with a number of, of components also from A to D. A is the legal principles, fire safety and health legislation and covering insurances also. So legal principles, fire safety and health legislation and fire insurances. B looks at the Building Control Act and the building regulations, really critical part, of course, of fire safety design. And again, yep, looks at the Building Control Act and, 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 and building regulations and all developments of that. Um, looks at preparation of fire safety certificate and assessments associated with that and design for evacuation of people with disabilities. C looks at the Fire Services Act, uh, originating in 81 and, and developing up to 2003 and beyond. And that looks at the roles and functions and duties of the fire authorities, fire investigation and fire prevention. And then finally, D in module two um, is fire services operational procedures. And this is looking at the fire services responsibilities and, and their operational guidance and things like the National Incident Command System. So quite a lot there in, in module two, but very rich and diverse material. And then the final module is where we look at the, the assignments. And there's two key assignments here. There's a substantial project on methods of protecting structures against fire. And the second one is another substantial project looking at demonstrating comply, uh, compliance with the requirements of the building regulations. So there are two very kind of hands on projects where you you get to demonstrate the knowledge you have gained throughout um, the former modules. In terms of teaching methods, the course is delivered via um, formal lectures, small group discussions and coursework assignments. And students are really encouraged to ask questions during and after lectures um, if they need points to be clarified, but also to share their own experience and, and their own useful um, insights into this area. I mean, the students that typically come on to this course are, are working in this field. Um, now, it could be from a diversity of backgrounds, but they're certainly working in a connected area and they really bring a lot of knowledge to the course. So you learn so much from, from your peers on this course, as well as the lecturers. And there's always further opportunities for discussion with the lecturers and, and fellow students during and after um, the lectures and so on. So, you know, an important kind of networking opportunity here also. A really exciting thing about this course is that the Chief Fire, Offers, Fire Officers Association um, presents a prize to the top two um, grades achieved by students in the diploma for that year. So there's a cash prize associated with that, which is quite good, but it's also the honor of, of, of being selected for this prize by um, an esteemed organization like the Fire uh, Chief Fire Officers Association. So look, that's just a brief overview of the course. Um, I think you'll agree there's quite a lot there. There's a diversity of material, really interesting um, subject delivered by experts. And in a learning environment where you're going to be sharing your own experiences with your peers and also learning from them. If you have any questions or if you're interested in applying for this course, don't hesitate to contact us. There's first, some further information can be found on that website that you'll see in front of you on the screen. But of course, you can contact me or email me as course director, Tom Gray, um, but also my colleagues, Debbie Walsh and Mary Keating, who's 
information is contained here also. They have vast experience on, on the application procedure for this course, on, on student admission and on the everyday operation. So really, they've just absolute vast amount of knowledge between the two of them. So between all of us, I think we should be able to handle your questions. So thank you very much for your time. Um, and just to say, we're really looking forward to welcoming you to the Fire Safety Practice course. I know.